August the 21st, 2021. Guys, New York Harbor images. You see some boats scurrying about. It's getting overcast there. I'm sure some of these ferries and the uh, other utility type boats are probably making their last run of the day or either they're headed for cover at this point. You're under hurricane watch in this area. And uh, looks like tonight and tomorrow things are going to be going downhill pretty quick. But uh, if we look at our satellite images, but we'll take a look at the visible image and the infrared. And all of this I'm recording at 2.30 p.m. Central today. This is Henry. The path is moving north, northeast now. And it looks like it's going to follow those storm clouds that you guys are getting ashore now. A little closer look at it. 75 mile per hour hurricane. Supposed to get up to around 80, 85 miles per hour before it comes ashore. In the infrared images, you can see that even though you're getting the clouds along the uh, Long Island Sound area, it's not that much moisture in it yet. You can see where the moisture is. It's loaded to the right side of Henry. The storm surge uh, potential has not changed up in the Long Island Sound three to five feet. Uh, all the way over to Buzzards Bay, Nantucket Sound, three to five feet on the outside of that, two to four, and then one to three feet up where you're seeing the tropical storm warnings. The timing on this we'll look at also with uh, Fox 10, their information. But by eight o'clock in the morning, you see the location. It's right. What you're looking at here are hurricane watches and the warnings we were looking at. But at 8 a.m., in the morning, this thing is going to be approaching Long Island, and uh, you're going to be getting into tropical storm winds already. So your preparations need to be done now. In the morning, it's going to get kind of hairy, and throughout the day, it's going to be harder to navigate around. I don't know if they will close some of the uh, traffic down in the um, city areas there. But, but again, Sunday 8 a.m., they're talking about 80-mile-per-hour storm, and then Sunday evening at 8 p.m., it is ashore at 70 miles an hour. See that? And again, the elongated model in the uh, yellow band is showing that the storm possibly is going to turn in, and then um, what's left of it, the remnants are going to move out to the right. Now, what's important about it is from the 22nd to the 24th, guys, this thing may stay ashore. Notice Monday 8 a.m., it's 40 miles an hour but it is still ashore all the way up until Monday at 8 p.m. or so into Monday night. So there's going to be a lot of rain involved over a long period of time. Also, this model goes out over about 10 days, and it shows a major storm coming into the Texas coastline. Now, by the 31st, it's ashore, but by the 30th, it's a well-formed and organized setting offshore. We'll have to pay very close attention to that one. But uh, looking at Henry that's on us now, guys, uh, it has, again, mimicked the Navy model uh, for the last couple of days. Comes ashore, comes across Long Island possibly, and at that, this is August 22nd, and then moves inland and sits there for a couple of days, dissipating a lot of rain, keeping some winds up with, and possibly some flash flooding. So as you are prepared for this, remember, it's not going to be like some of the hurricanes that come uh, ashore here on the Gulf. Uh, guys, they will come in fast, move fast, and uh, head north. This thing's going to set on top of you a couple of days. So be prepared for that. Your local politicians um, are saying that you need to get to higher ground if you're in the low-lying flood areas or and things like that. But notice your time stamp. 22nd, it's coming ashore. And notice at the bottom right, as I step this thing through, you'll go into the 23rd here. It's still ashore. You're going to go into the 24th. It's still ashore. It's coming off now and go back into the Atlantic, headed up towards, uh, I guess, Nova Scotia, St. John's in that area by that time but i think it's going to be a major flood event if it was coming fast and just skating the uh, coast maybe not but again by the 30th that uh, hurricane in the gulf looks uh, like it could be uh, a little bit hard to handle a couple of things coming off of africa at the same time and we'll look at a couple of spaghetti models because uh, you've got 
one of the Navy models showing it just skirting the tip of uh, Long Island and almost uh, not even coming ashore. Check this out. This is the uh, Canadian model. Just to give you an idea, the close-up of it. Comes in across Long Island and right there in those bays and harbors, right on the other side of Long Island, you're going to catch that right quadrant of the storm, and that's the most dangerous. I think it's been 30 years since part of that country in there have had a major storm like this, and you had Superstorm Sandy, what was that, 2010 or something? That was pretty rough, but uh, anyway, this thing's you're going to have to pay attention to it here. It, again, this is the Navy model. Notice on this one, we're going to look at the Spaghetti model too, that it skates across Long Island and then moves along the coast, doesn't go inshore. But here's the uh, location now, Category 1 Hurricane. I'm going to insert the Canadian model that you're looking at now in the purple line. And we'll put in the Navy, the Nav Gem 2 model, which is the only one available right now, uh, as far as um, the two main models that we're checking. This one comes in. Notice if it follows this in Rhode Island, in that area, it, looked, it shows the center missing Long Island. That's important because a barrier island, we know that from here on the coast, can absorb a lot of the storm. So from New London over to Newport, depending on which model, you're, the darker purple is the Navy model. And I'll back it out so you can see it. But look here, again, Newport, North Kingston area. That's going to push all that water up into those bays, Westport. And this thing can vary. But uh, if... In neither model, the one on the left is Canadian model that goes over Stoning, uh, yeah, Stonington, and uh, neither one uh, make impact with an island. Check that out. So we've got a couple of days of some rough weather coming. That, again, your Navy model and your CMC Canadian model. They come ashore very close together. At that point, they... Canadian model moves to the left, as you can see here, moves to the west, and the Navy model move, keeps moving north and then cuts east back out uh, into the Atlantic. But they stay very close together from that point, it's just right there. And what we're seeing is the different computers showing when the front that's moving across the U.S. interacts with these storms. Either way, both are showing the storm coming ashore off the uh, eastern tip of Long Island, no barrier island. Pay attention to it. Uh, prepare to, I mean, don't take any chances, guys. These things can get out of hand pretty quick. You've seen the destruction along the Gulf Coast over the last many years from Texas to uh, in Mexico last night. New, uh, got, Mexico got hit with a Cat 3 powerful storm on radar. It was incredible. Then you've seen everything from Katrina, Michael, Sally, name it. The ones through Texas, Louisiana. More than, than you can think of to name. But you don't have to be caught off guard. You've got today, and um, that's about it to prepare. Again, I'm not familiar enough with the New York area to know which bridges they may shut down in certain high winds or certain roads that will flood and where the subways will flood, that's on you guys. But if you can't get a room out of town, and I'm sure they're probably getting kind of hard to find now because people are watching the storm. Again, the, for the certain parts of the country there, it's, it has been 30 years since you had a hurricane. And um, so even if you get, just got to get in your car and, and take a drive, you know, get inland, check it out, find a friend or relative, find a campground. Don't be in these low-lying areas. You're going to have a strong Cat 1, we know, throwing a lot of water up into those bays and harbors. But we're watching it, guys. Watch for updates. It's a heads up. Be safe.